Hey there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Edgar. Welcome to Thrift Kingdom. I'm a full-time dumpster diver, part-time thrifter, full-time reseller. And today, of course, we're gonna go dumpster diving. Now, this has become one of my favorite dumpsters. Check out my previous videos. This is a retail store. There's a lot of stuff, uh, brand new with tags and toys and clothes and socks and packages, Calvin Klein. So I'm gonna show you right now. It seems like it's gonna be a good one. Well, right away, there is a lot of stuff here. For example, a blanket, <laughs> new with tags, definitely does not belong in a dumpster. Shoes that definitely deserve to be owned by somebody. I actually found this sandal the other day. Uh, so sometimes when one thing doesn't appear the first day, it could appear the i don't know the following day we'll take this blanket these seem to be broken once i check the dumpsters um i will be putting uh this stuff in the dumpster if there is space but it's kind of cool how it was left out here in a way i guess makes it easier for dumpster divers So I think that's it for this part that's out here. Uh, let's see. Curling gel. It's sealed. We'll take it. We'll take this little koozie. <laughs> New with tags. Uh, we'll take this. There's a little jar right here with candy. The jar is pretty cool. We'll take the jar. I guess we'll take this uh, Christmas decor. I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get home. And now let's go see what's actually inside the dumpster. And again, I'll clean this at the end if there's space in the dumpster to toss this in there. Uh, in here, there's a basketball. I'll throw that inside the car. There's a chance this might be in there. So we'll put it outside for now. What's this over here? Oh, check that out. Do you see what I see? There's a pair of brand new shoes. That is crazy how like they toss this acrylic organizer. All right, we'll take these shoes. There you go, we'll put this in the car. <laughs> this honestly has become my favorite dumpster, without a doubt. Here's the pop it. Of course, more socks. I bet anything we will be finding the pair. I just want to show that it's like really messy out here. I have no idea why. Um, here's a toy. Here's a couple of toys. I got a box from here and I'm starting to put some stuff in there. So uh, we're definitely will be uh, cleaning the outside of the dumpster. Of course, once we're done, take this. Oh, here you go. That one's actually wet, so I'm not gonna take that one. Here's some of these we can take. I actually did really good. I don't know if you've seen my previous video, but I sold a whole bunch of stuff um, locally. So I'm pretty much showing how you can also do this and make some extra money and how like you'll be surprised what people are interested in. Um, there's a lot of stuff that people think it's trash, but in reality, people need it and they want it. So make sure you check out that video. And I made like Christmas bundles and stuff, like a whole bunch of these and Christmas decor and things that I found in the dumpster and I sold all of it. Okay, so right here we found an eggplant, an Adidas glove, 
I'm pretty sure maybe <laughs> the second one's gonna show up. Here is a Halo uh, tennis ball. Here's a little toy. Uh, some shipping supplies. There you go. That's what I always tell you. Like, I don't even buy shipping supplies. Boxes, tapes, scissors, the paper to print. I always end up finding it in dumpsters. The only thing that I've never found is ink for my printer to print out the labels. But other than that, I mean, I don't mind. I'm still saving a lot of money with all the the free shipping supplies that I get. And these are the clear bags. I just got to make sure that they're not torn and they're not uh, dirty or anything. And like we, I use these to place the items inside the poly bag. So in case if I'm shipping a shirt, for example, I'll um, put I'll put the shirt in one of these clear bags. Always wear your gloves. And these gloves I found uh, in this dumpster in my first video. So brand new gloves too. Of course, I have the pair. Of course. It was kind of hard to dig in there because there's all these there's all these see-through bags but i think there's nothing uh good anymore left so now of course we're gonna pick up all of this <laughs> so yeah this is the part where we clean Again, always leave it better than when you got here. All right, let's continue. Thank you, dumpster. Okay, so funny thing is that the trash truck does pass tomorrow. So I feel like we rescued all these items that potentially we're gonna end up in the landfill. And now I'm feeling hyped up and I wanna go check out some more dumpsters. I feel like today is gonna be a good day. So stick around because who knows what we're gonna find today you just never know and that's the part that i love about dumpster diving all right on to the next dumpster and there is pizza over there and there's a whole bunch of maybe nothing this box i recognize it right away when you see this box with this on the side it usually has magazines there you go brand new magazine all right so it seems like the only one out here is us and this eagle do you see it <laughs> i think it's looking at us what did it say it's saying to subscribe to my youtube channel thrift kingdom <laughs> for now we are going to be checking out apartments apartments and here you go we have some paper wrap I actually have some presents that I haven't given away yet. So there you go. Paper wrap. I'm guessing this is probably like empty boxes. Yeah, they don't wait. Uh, there's a bag. A lot of dumpster divers skip on uh, gift bags. But on my previous video, I showed you that I made a... I picked all of them up. And I ended up making like a bundle and selling a whole bunch of uh, gift bags. Of course, you just gotta make sure that it's clean. This one's clean, good to go. All right, we are still at the same apartment. This apartment used to have this at their playground. I'm guessing they got rid of it, but it's kind of interesting. Like if you had a truck or whatever, I'm pretty sure, well, if I had a truck, I'm pretty sure that you could sell that uh, or those stairs. I mean, you can put it in your own backyard for your kids, resell it. But obviously it's something that we cannot uh, take with us. I think this is nothing but trash. Here is a hockey table, <laughs> way too big. I have no idea if it works, it has a cord. I'm pretty sure you could sell this on Facebook Marketplace but it's way too big. It's a little bit damaged, but I don't know. Maybe somebody will take it. I just saw a cat tanning. No, don't get scared. <laughs> He's camera shy. And I actually saw another cat over here tanning. He got scared too. And yeah, not a good one. Okay, so over here I saw a box 
So I'm guessing it's uh, stuff that might work or stuff that is not trash. There's some chili, some cans. Uh, here's a toy, here's a tennis racket. Here's a DVD player, we'll check it out at home. If it says a recorder DVD player, it's a DVD player. So I'll take the DVD player, pretty sure it works. That's why they put it out here, so that somebody would take it. There's some uh, goggles, yard sale item. I sold some of those before. Here's a little uh, bunny thing, could be for Halloween. Club hits. Pause the video if you want to see uh, what kind of songs are in here. There you go. And well, let's see what else is in here. I am going to be taking the cans. Uh, they're not even expired. And I'm going to take them because tomorrow is trash day. And I don't want for this uh, potentially uh, to go into the trash when it's food sealed in a can. So I'm going to go ahead and take them and uh, I'll take them to uh, to people that uh, don't have homes and I'll just make sure that I'll, I clean them from the outside and I'd rather make sure that somebody uh, actually takes it and uh, has the, the opportunity to, to consume them. So we'll throw this back in there. So I'm going to be putting all these stuff that we found inside this box that we found and again these cans i just gotta clean them give them a good wipe and uh, here's a case for glasses and we'll be donating those so i came to see inside this dumpster and it seems like there's nothing in here however i did see those mannequins I think it's missing like the hook on top, but maybe that can get fixed. And I know mannequins are really popular among resellers and uh, people that sell clothing and stuff like that, or they have like little businesses. So I feel like we should take these. Um, let me see if I can pick it up. They seem a little bit dirty, but they're white. So most likely we can clean them with, uh, with some Clorox. I think we should take them. What do you think? Would you take them? Leave it in the comments. Let me know. I will list them probably on Facebook Marketplace. If they don't sell, we'll just recycle them. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this real quick. There's a whole bunch of sodas. Some of them are sealed or they look sealed. Some of them are not. Uh, however, they're touching the bottom of the basket. I mean, the bottom of the dumpster. And this that is the reason why I will pass up on it. Cause I mean, that's, in the bottle is where you put your lips so yeah since it's touching the bottom of the of the of the dumpster i don't know what's wrong with me since it's touching the bottom of the dumpster we'll go ahead and pass on it but i just wanted to show you all right so uh checking out this dumpster uh there's a whole bunch of carton boxes on top but it kind of seems like they threw a whole bunch of carton boxes on top to kind of avoid people from seeing all of this delicious food that's sealed 100 percent clothes and it's gonna make it a little bit challenging trying to get like these items that we can definitely donate but we can try to grab uh, some so that uh, so that we could take this food that doesn't have to go to the landfill and it's also pork so it's like an animal died for nothing you know what i mean I've, i always say that because i really do believe in that especially when it's like an animal when it's meat it's like uh there's no reason to let all this go to waste and i know i know i don't have my glove i lost my glove somewhere uh, i think i lost it in a dumpster probably fell out of my pocket but i promise i'll get another one and right, the good thing about this one is that it's nothing but boxes and of course, I'm being I'm being careful. As you can see, we rescued a lot of snacks that are 100% sealed, and uh, we saved them from going to the trash. And of course, we're gonna donate uh, most of this, uh, if not probably everything, because I've been trying to eat uh, healthier. So uh, we uh, we got all of this. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go and find people to give these uh, items, uh, food, tortillas, cans, there's uh, vegetables, there is uh, pineapple juice, and we're gonna find uh, people to give uh, these items out to. Um, as you see, remember the tortillas that we found? Sealed. Okay, now let's go give these up. So there's nobody there right now, but I've seen a couple of people uh, hanging out there. And as you see, like that's like the place where they rest and stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the bags there. Whenever they come back, they should be there. Let's go sell something. So right now we're about to make this local sale. It's a couple of vintage trolls. It's one that's brand new and sealed. Motor a guy and a motorcycle guy. One with pink hair and three little ones. All of them for twenty dollars. They're all from. They are all from the nineties. And we're about to meet a local buyer. I'll put a picture right here on the side. Here they are. Do you want to check them out? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. All right, we have King in the background. Uh, real quick, I want to talk about this uh, item or two items that sold on Facebook Marketplace for shipping. Uh, two Animaniacs Christmas ornaments. Now, Christmas just passed and they just sold after Christmas. So it goes to show just list your Christmas stuff because uh, there's people out there that buy Christmas stuff even after Christmas. So we sold these. These are vintage from the 90s. They are pretty rare on eBay. They are pretty pricey, but I listed both for uh, $20 plus shipping and somebody purchased it last night on Facebook Marketplace. Of course, this little box, uh, we got it from a dumpster and the clear bag for extra protection as well. So recycle, recycle, recycle. And now let's ship these items and say hi to King. King. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are done for today. I'm actually gonna go and record some more content because I feel inspired to go dumpster diving. By the way, before this video finishes, I really have to say thank you because we finally reached 5,000 subscribers. And I only had my YouTube channel for about five months or so, so that is amazing. Thank you so much for being here and being part of Thrift Kingdom. It means more than you will ever know so thank you so much for being here and if you still haven't subscribed consider uh subscribing and also please give me a thumbs up that really helps out my youtube channel and it helps me make more youtube videos for you by the way uh real quick before this video ends i just want to mention that my sister she's right here behind the camera kali yesterday we got matching tattoos the reason we got this tattoo is because we like talking about space planets the universe conspiracy conspiracy theories what's your favorite conspiracy theory let me know in the comments below but uh we decided to get matching tattoos and i'm gonna show you ready one two three aliens <laughs> it was unexpected expect the unexpected yeah, we went in there and we didn't know what we were gonna get and I don't know where we just ended up going with an alien. As always, thank you for uh, watching, for being here, for supporting, for the likes, for subscribing. Thank you so much. And I'm always reading the comments. That's my favorite part of the video. Let me know where you're from. What are you up to? What did you find? What's your best uh, flip? Remember to sell your stuff or donate your stuff. The land for really has way too much and it doesn't need any more. Remember to recycle, cool kids recycle, and you're cool so recycle see you on the next side <laughs>